Data bank. Uh, what is that one? Perdition. Not sure he has the best one. Um, there. Twenty-eight percent. Yeah, this one does way more. And another chest. Oh, shiny! Ooh, sparkly! Nice. So, mm, I need to heal. Oh, it's kind of far away. Let's do this. Wait, where, where was that? Here. Oh, shiny. Ooh, Sparkly. Okay. Underestimate me. <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. Yeah. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. I don't think so. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Right on. Well, if there's no escape... Then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. Let's do it. Huh? This song's for you. Turn it up. Tough luck running into me. Let's shoot up. <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. Everything is ordained by those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Let's make it quick. Ouch. Who invited you? Um. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Let's go. Wait, no more waves? Lady Bronya. Hmm. I'll handle these evil doers. Nice. 
Oh, nice. Boss fight. Ouch. Fight with me. Time to get vigilant. So she doesn't have any weaknesses. She can't be controlled. While there are enemies on the field. Okay. So we need to deal with these guys first. Alright. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! This song's just for you. So... Okay, let's do this. Alright, you should have weaknesses now. Yeah. Physical fire and imaginary. Let's get a shield. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's make it quick. Nice. You can't run. Stop right there. That's fine. Try that again. Try that again. Who's the lucky one today? Oh wow! That just destroyed your shield. Time for the main event. Let's rock. Let's go. Only one left. are made to be broken. You have the worst what level is she? Level 15. Okay, so we are over leveled for this. Unfortunately. A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars. Pretty good crowd today. Turn up the volume. No, oh, she can't be electrocuted. Electrocuted. Or maybe she can and she just wasn't. Um March 7th. After her. Take this! It's fine. Oh, I should have waited. Should have waited for that. Sometimes. Check out this awesome move. She's gonna summon more enemies. Onward. My yeah. turn. My bad. Watch this. Ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Nice. Got my turn earlier. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all. Almost dead. I think he's dead. He has. He has DOT damage, right? Back off. You can't run. No. He's very much alive. She is dead, though. Who's the lucky one today? She's very dead. This song's just for you. Let's rock.
This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung! Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. Hmm? Uh, you're no fun. Secret strength? Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. I doubt it. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Sample. One thing to say, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> That's surprising. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Sleeping ass. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. It is So that's the stellar one. Hmm. What about the underworlders? They will lose the protection of the architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You have witnessed the world we have promised. I love that voice. A Understand. Hmm. Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? <laughs> because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Uh oh. Ah, oh, poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze. Before I knew it, I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from Wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. So they're in the underworld. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratched my back. How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? That's nice. And another thing, where does Wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl what? in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows what? up... Did you bring Bronia? What would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. Morning. Book. Night time. Or maybe it's just because it's underground. It's always night time. Natasha's list. Okay, I am curious.
I wish we would sort it in some sort of order. God. Uh. Natasha's least. There we go. To all parents who are minors. Hmm. Over a hundred days. Oh God. A large dose of compassion. Isabella, 11 years old. 133 days. <laughs> if you're Isabella's parents, I suggest to learn about child care. Child, child care from her. Because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't even be able to take care uh, took care for a mad mole that eats anything. Big Charlie, nine years old. 164. He learned from his parents. I love the way she writes this. I like this music too. I'll teach him how to make special potions for you. Oh, okay, I, I love Natasha. Little Charlie. Big Charlie and Little Charlie. Seven years old. Oh, wow. I'll personally come to find you if you don't visit. I have the right remedy for it. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy! Pigeons. Herbs. Aww. Oh. Okay, I love Natasha. I'm assuming that's her. Miner's medical certificate. Feeling. Oh, I missed the book. Aches or pains? Uh, migraines all over my body. I had a weird dream. I bet you were mumbling something about Stellarons and wishes. I couldn't make sense of it. Oh. <sighs> well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. <clears throat> You've already spent a day in my clinic. Um. Nice to meet you. I'm Diddy. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> You're very polite. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. So if you don't oh, mind, no. I'll go and take a look at the other patients. I didn't mean to skip that. I was trying to move the camera. What's your medical bill? Oh, please. You needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. Good. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years. But that guy owes me. You better bring me back some medicine. 
Uh, why did I pass out? Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. Sampo told me. Don't worry, the Silvermane guards won't follow you below ground. We've been cut off from the surface for many years. <laughs> Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Hmm. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the Architects ordered the lockdown. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Something that Wildfires wanted to achieve for a long time now. Uh, what's Wildfires? They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Okay. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. March. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the Silvermane guard uniform, hmm. I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Oh, that's bad. Uh, who is Sampo anyway? Good question. <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. Mm. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. All right. Yeah, what's Wildfire? It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. Okay. Um, thank you, Dr. Natasha. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. Still. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start? You know, the underground has been cut off from the surface for years. For you outsiders to descend on us out of nowhere is pretty incredible. Everything all right? You feeling okay? Uh, I want to ask about the underworld. <laughs> the underworld? What do you want to know? Many things. Uh, why do people live down here? Because we need Geomero. After Bellabog's construction, the demand for energy kept increasing. The Eternal Freeze prevented us from expanding outwards, so our only choice was to go down. Makes sense. The people answered the call of the Architects and descended, excavating ore veins and establishing mines. Before we were sealed off, it was an honor to work underground. It was a choice. The pursuit of arduous labor for the survival of our entire civilization. How is life here? It's never been good. <laughs> Conditions are tough both above and below the surface. The overworld is faced with the eternal freeze and fragmentum corrosion, and the underworld has to contend with hard labor, suffocating heat, and serious shortages. So there's no fragmentum here. Yet. It's been over a decade since the Silvermane Guards withdrew from the Underworld, and the situation here has only gotten worse. The only contact we have is the exchange of Geomero for goods. And what's more, the Fragmentum Corrosion has begun oh. to reach us down here, too. There we go. Uh, Sample? Ask away. <laughs> but I'm afraid I don't know a lot about him myself. How did you meet him? A meticulously choreographed chance meeting. Mm. <laughs> Sampo is pretty good at orchestrating unexpected encounters, and he always leaves a lasting impression. According to him, that's the gift of a businessman. <laughs> I hear that question a lot. Seems like he owes everyone something. That's why he never discloses his whereabouts. When people need him, he appears. And when people really need him, he disappears. Sampo's first and second laws of motion. Okay, wildfire. Um, I'm a doctor, not an informant. 
Very well. What's the question? Uh, she already told us. Wildfire is a volunteer grassroots organization. Like I said, they've taken on the duties of the guards. Maintain safety and order in the underworld, and compete with fragmentum corrosion for living space. Uh, how can I find them? Wherever there is hardship and a cry for help, there is wildfire. <laughs> you can always find them. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. Take care and make sure you look after you. Thank you, Natasha. Very kind. Alright. Let's head out. 